What's good, cuz? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you all week two of my NFL picks and predictions. Last week, week one, we went 8-8. Eight and eight. Very nice to have NFL football back. Let's see what we can do this week. So if you're excited for the video, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, I hope you all enjoy the video. And let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub. Can I take over YouTube? Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with my NFL Week 2 picks and predictions. We went 8-8 eight and eight in Week 1, so not a bad start, not a great start. We're 500 on the season, but we have a new slate of games to pick from today. And we're going to start things off with the Sunday games, the Texans versus the Browns. Just like Week 1, though, these are going to be just my opinion on these picks and predictions. I am not an expert at picking NFL games, so if you're looking for expert picks, this is not the place for them. We're just going to have some fun. Pick these games. Going to tell you all a little bit about each game and seeing why I like that team more than the other in that specific game. Like I said, starting things off with the Texans and the Browns. Now, the Texans surprised a lot of people last week, including me. I selected the Jaguars last week to beat the Texans in Houston, but Tyrod Taylor, Mark Ingram, the offense, Brandon Cooks were looking really, really good, and the defense was actually getting to Trevor Lawrence and actually making him to force some turnovers. They picked off Trevor Lawrence two times last week, but I don't think that's going to continue against the Browns. I think the Browns pass rush with Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clowney gonna be too much for Tyrod Taylor and I think the offense of the Texans is going to be sluggish next week not gonna score that many points as for the Browns put up a very good game once again against the Kansas City Chiefs came down to the wire Baker Mayfield last minute interception costed them the game but he had a great game Nick Chubb had a great game Kareem Hunt played well will they have Odell Beckham Jr. that's gonna be the question but I don't think it's gonna matter in this one I'm going with the Cleveland Browns our next game is the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins and the Bills surprisingly lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers I thought they were going to beat the Steelers, but the Steelers defense looked pretty good and was able to hold Josh Allen in check. Against the Miami Dolphins, though, Tua looked pretty good. Gaskin looked pretty good. Jalen Waddle, the rookie, looked pretty good. Their offense was actually moving in New England. They picked up a road win against another AFC East team, but I don't see the Bills losing two games in a row to start the season. Can they have some trouble with Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, the pass defense of the Miami Dolphins? I think, again, it could be a low-scoring game, or we never know. Both of these offenses could explode. It could really go either way but I'm going to say the Bills are going to win it regardless of what happens I just don't think they're going to go 0-2 on the season that leads us to the Broncos and the Jaguars and like I said earlier with the Texans the Jaguars were not able to move the ball on the Texans that much Trevor Lawrence had two picks did not have much success in his rookie debut but if he had trouble against the Texans he is going to have trouble against the Denver Broncos defense and for that reason I am taking the Broncos defense that absolutely destroyed my New York Giants in New York last week and Daniel Jones might not be our quarterback of the future but the Broncos defense Von Miller looked like Von Miller last week he was really good and I think the Broncos defense will get the better of Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars offense next we're gonna have the Patriots at the New York Jets and the Patriots did lose to the Dolphins last week Jets lost to the Carolina Panthers but they both look pretty good in their first game of the season Zach Wilson and Corey Davis had a decent connection and Mac Jones looked good in his debut Nelson Aguilar got involved as Damian Harris did not fumble that ball late in the game the Patriots should be 1-0 Dolphins should have lost that game on Honestly, and the Jets almost came back against the Panthers. This is going to be a tough game to choose from here, but Bill Belichick is so good against those rookie quarterbacks that I'm going to take the New England Patriots in this one to beat the New York Jets. We will have to see what happens. I did like Zach Wilson, what I saw from him in the rookie debut, but Bill Belichick is so good, like I said, against those rookie quarterbacks. Our next game is the Raiders visiting the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Steelers, like I said, upset the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo last week, and now they face a Raiders team that's coming off a hot Monday night football win. Raiders clutched up. They won the game. Game, then they almost lost the game then they wind up winning the game at the end there with that touchdown pass from Derek Carr and Derek Carr looked really good he's not gonna be the problem in this game the problem is gonna be their defense and the offensive line can the Raiders protect Derek Carr from that ferocious pass rush of the Pittsburgh Steelers I don't think they're going to be able to do it and I don't think the Raiders defense is gonna be that good that they're gonna be able to stop this Pittsburgh Steelers offense I'm looking for Najee Harris to get really involved this week he played 100% of the snaps last week just didn't have much success against Buffalo but this week I think he's gonna show up and prove 
prove why he was the best running back in the draft. I'm going with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Up next, we have the Chiefs and the Ravens, and the Chiefs always beat Lamar Jackson. They had a great game against the Cleveland Browns, one of the best games of week one, and the Ravens got a heartbreaking loss against the Las Vegas Raiders in week one on Monday Night Football, but I'm going to go with the Baltimore Ravens here. I feel like Lamar Jackson's finally going to get a win against the Kansas City Chiefs. They're at home. They're coming off that heartbreak loss. They're going to look to bounce back to get into the win column, get into that AFC North conversation. Who's going to be winning the division? They need to win this game before going 0-2, and I'm going to say the Baltimore Ravens are going to get it done. For some reason, I'm just going to go with them. That's a complete guess here. I think the Chiefs are probably the better team, but I just have that feeling that the Ravens are going to win this game. Before we move on to the AFC and the NFC matchups, now we have the Bengals and the Bears, and the Bengals look great on offense. The Bears, David Montgomery looks pretty good. They drew a tough matchup in week one against the Los Angeles Rams. Matthew Stafford looked amazing. The Rams offense looked amazing. I think the Rams are going to be a Super Bowl contender this year, so I'm not taking too much about the Bears defense in that one because I think the Rams offense is just that good. So we have Bears, Bengals. I don't know. At home, this really could go either way. I'm curious to know what the point spread is going to be on this game because it really could go either way, but I'm going to take the home team here. I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Bengals came in with the upset here. Next, we're going to have the Los Angeles Rams and the Indianapolis Colts, and like I just said, the Rams looked so good last week against the Bears, and the Colts lost to the Seahawks, and I think the Seahawks are actually a worse team than the Los Angeles Rams this year, so I'm going to go with the Rams here in Indianapolis. The Colts are going to lose their first two home games. Sorry for Colts fans there, but I think the Rams are just on another level. They're going to be Super Bowl contenders this year. Next, we're going to have the Cowboys and the Chargers, and the Cowboys put up a very good fight against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in week one of that home opener on Thursday night. I'm going to take them for the upset here. The Chargers look good, but Justin Herbert didn't look too good against that Washington football team defense. So I'm going to say the Cowboys are going to get their first one of the season against the Chargers in Los Angeles in what should be a very high scoring game. I think it should be a very good game of week two. Could go either way, but again, I'm going to go with the Cowboys here. And then we have the Titans and the Seahawks, and the Titans disappointed me last week. I did pick the Cardinals to win that game, so I was right in that regard, but the game was just so underwhelming. I expected fireworks from both teams. I expected a very high scoring game, but only one offense showed up last week, and that was the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray is just on another level, I guess, this year. He is going to be in an MVP conversation with four touchdowns through the air and then one on the ground. He looked amazing. So Titans, Seahawks here. Russell Wilson looked good. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett looked good. And the defense looked pretty good against Carson Wentz and the Colts in Indianapolis. So this is going to be a really tough game, but I'm going to go with the Seahawks here. Wouldn't surprise me if the Titans came in here with Julio Jones, AJ Brown, Derrick Henry, and put up some points. And then their defense maybe shows up against the Seahawks. I expect this to be a high scoring game. Like I said, could go either way, but I'm going to take the home team here in the Seattle Seahawks. Then we move on to the NFC games here. We have the Giants against the Washington football team. And my Giants, like I said earlier, looked absolutely horrible. Daniel Jones just looks so bad. The offensive line cannot block. Saquon Barkley cannot get going because there's no blocking room. There's no holes. And there's not going to be any holes against this Washington football team. The Giants did beat the football team last year in both games. But this year, I think the football team is going to get the better of us, especially at home. When we move to MetLite Stadium, maybe we'll get the win against the football team. But at Washington, I think we're going to lose here. I'm not going to be biased. Going to pick the Washington football team to beat us here. We have five games remaining. Next, we have the San Francisco 49ers visiting the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Eagles looked really good last week against the Atlanta Falcons. Jalen Hurts looked good. Devontae Smith got a touchdown. Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gainwell, they're rushing the ball pretty good. And the defense of the Eagles looked really good against that Atlanta Falcons team. But it's the Falcons. How much can we take out of that? We will have to see the 49ers, though, on a different level, at least for the first three quarters of the game before they almost choke the game to the Detroit Lions. We don't like to see that if you're a 49ers fan. Crazy ending to that game. The 49ers were up 38 to 10 with like one quarter left and the Lions with about one minute left found themselves with a chance to tie the game. That was crazy. Couldn't believe what I was watching, but I'm going to take the San Francisco 49ers here. I think they're going to show up like they did in the first three quarters against the Lions and the Eagles are going to be playing a real defense in this week. We'll have to see what Jalen Hurts can do. Could see the Eagles winning, but I'm thinking the 49ers are going to take this one on the road. Now we have the Saints and the Panthers and I'm not going to think too much of this one. Panthers looked okay in their first game of the season. They didn't beat the Jets by too much, whereas the Saints absolutely blew out the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers didn't look too good last week, but the Saints looked amazing. Jameis Winston looked good. He was efficient through 20 passes, 14 completions for five touchdowns, and the defense, like I said, just absolutely destroyed that Green Bay Packers offense, so I assume they're going to do the same thing to the Carolina Panthers. Should be a high-scoring game, though. Don't think it's going to be a blowout like it was last week at Green Bay. Now we move on to the Falcons and the Buccaneers, and the Falcons looked horrible against the Eagles. They're not going to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Could be a high-scoring game, though. Tom Brady going to run up the score. Falcons offense, I assume, has got to get back on 
tracker. They have weapons. They have Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts, Mike Davis, Wayne Goldman, Matty Ice. They have weapons on the offensive side of the ball, but that defense is not going to be able to hang with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now we have the Vikings and the Cardinals, and like I just finished saying, Kyler Murray is an MVP candidate this year. He looked amazing in the first game of the season for him against Tennessee, and the Vikings suffered a heartbreaking loss to the Cincinnati Bengals in overtime last week. Think this should be a high-scoring game as well, but I'm going to roll with Kyler Murray in their home opener. Very big fan of Kyler Murray this year. Think he could finish as the MVP. Very, very possibly stays on the track like he did in Week 1, expecting him and DeAndre Hopkins to tear it up against this Vikings team in Week 2. And then lastly, we have the Lions and the Packers, and the Lions actually showed some heart last week, like I said, against the 49ers, almost mounting that comeback there. Couldn't quite get it, but the Packers, I think, are going to be out for redemption, for revenge in Week 2, and I feel bad for Lions fans because they're going to take it out on you. In Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers not going to play around anymore. He got slapped in the mouth a little bit with reality last week against the New Orleans Saints. So I think the Packers are going to blow out the Lions on Monday Night Football in Week 2. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. My Week 2 NFL predictions. Like I said, I went 8-8 eight eight last week. Let's see how we can do this week. If you agreed or disagreed with my picks, that is completely okay. Give me your NFL predictions for the Week 2 matchups in the comments down below. But if you did enjoy the video, though, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to follow me at my social links, which are on the screen for you all right now, including my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, stuff like that. But that's it for me today, everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.